this is Claire from Eclair Makery and today I am going to be showing you how to make my bobble fingerless gloves. This is a beginner friendly um, fingerless gloves pattern that is worked flat and then seamed up to form the glove shape. Before we get started be sure to hit the subscribe button below and like this video so that I know that you liked it and let's go ahead and get started. To make your fingerless gloves, you're going to need a couple different things. You're going to need a bulky weight yarn in two different colors. I used Lion Brand Color Made Easy, which is a really soft, bulky weight yarn. But you can use any bulky weight yarn to make these and it will totally work. You could even just do one color instead of two. Then you'll also need a 7mm crochet hook and a yarn needle to use later once we are going to sew up the gloves. So to start your gloves, you are going to begin by chaining 20. So you'll take your yarn, do that slip, classic slip knot, and then we will chain 20. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and then we are going to add two more. So we're going to chain a total of 22, and then we are going to start this first row by doing a half double crochet starting in the third chain from the hook, and then we will half double crochet all the way down this chain. And we're doing these gloves in a flat piece that then we sew up to make into our rounded gloves. So once you have finished your rows with the bobbles, it's time to start on the last part of these fingerless gloves, which is doing it with the second color. So when you are on this last um, stitch here, instead of finishing your stitch off with the red yarn, you're gonna take your pink yarn here and you're gonna finish off your stitch by pulling the yarn through. This way you have a seamless color join and it won't show up weird on your work. Then you're just gonna do some rows of half double crochets till you get the right height of your glove and then you can uh, sew them up, which I will show you how to do next. So go ahead and just follow the amount of rows that the pattern says for your size and then we will get started on seaming these together. So once you have finished crocheting your piece right here, it will look like this. And this is the whole fingerless glove. And now it's time that we are going to seam up our sides together so that it forms the glove shape that we can wear. So I've got my last stitch here with my last loop and I'm gonna go ahead and cut a nice long tail for seaming up the side of the glove. So mine's about, I think a foot and a half long, but it doesn't have to be this long. I did extra long today, just in case. Then you're gonna just fasten this off. And then I am just going to be sewing my um, wrong, like I'm gonna have the right side out with the bobbles on the outside because I'm gonna be doing the mattress stitch, which is an invisible seam. And then you won't be able to tell that there's a seam there or stitches there. And then it's going to, um, make it so that it doesn't matter that we're doing on that right side. So then you're gonna take your yarn needle here and then we're going to line up our edges together. And so what I do is I have it be where I go down about halfway on the pink here. So then I'm gonna leave about half of the pink rows open for my thumb. So you can go ahead and do that if you want to. If you want to make it yours open a little bit more for where your thumb is going to go, you totally can. It's totally up to you on how roomy you want the thumb to be. Um, for example, like here on this one, I went a little bit above halfway, so I might end up doing that on this one as well. So I only went down about two rows on the pink, so three rows total till I went and um, sewed some little stitches along here to get down to the cuff part. So it looks like this when I wear it. So if you want it to be about this height with some extra roominess right here, then go only go down a couple rows. So then we will take our piece here, line up those edges, and then take your needle, go to the other side, have it go up along the edge. So you insert your hook and then have it come up like this. 
and pull the yarn as you go through. So you go up along the sides of the stitches and then you pull it tight. So then do that again. One more time here. And then another time on the other side. And then we've got our seams all joined right there. So then what I do is because I want this part to be open for my thumb, then I just reinsert my hook, uh, my needle actually, and then I come to the inside here and I just weave my needle along the side um, just to get that yarn to go all the way down to the red without having it show up on the outside of the pink. And then this way, it's not going to be too tight. I can have it be nice and stretchy. And look, you won't even be able to tell on the outside that we have that yarn woven through there. Then you insert your hook back up through here, line up the edges again, and then sew. And if you feel like your finger gets a little too tight, go ahead and just have a few less rows that you seam up so that you can allow some room for your thumb. on the last stitches here. So just do one more to go down on this side. And then we will fasten it off by inserting our, inserting our needle like this, wrapping the yarn around, and then pulling up your needle and then trim and you can weave in that in later. And look, you've got yourself a finished glove. So we'll try this guy on. Make sure it fits. Oh, it's perfect. Woo. And put the other one on so you can have a matching pair. And there you go. Your hands are going to stay nice and warm. And if you, as always, if you want to make your wrist part a little bit tighter, you can weave some stitches and pull it a little bit tighter or just do a couple less stitches on your gloves. So I really hope that you loved this crochet tutorial. I had so much fun showing you how to make these fingerless gloves. Be sure to hit the subscribe button below and like this video so that I know that you liked it. And just so that you don't miss on, out on any of my videos that I create here, be sure to check out the free pattern available on my blog at the link in the description um, and grab the ad-free PDF in my shops. I can't wait to share more crochet tutorials with you and I will see you next time. Bye. Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to like it below if you enjoyed watching it and hit the subscribe button if you never want to miss out a video from me and also check out my other videos and tutorials on my channel. See you next time!